to make the inside liquid, what you need to do is come back here to your shape. And what I do is I'll just drag it over and you don't really need this outside layer anymore, right? Like the liquid would start on the inside line. So I'll go and I'll chop these off because I don't need them anymore. Um, actually, I needed to chop the inside line. Yeah, we'll chop that because then we can grab that, delete it, that, delete. And now we just have this inside line. So then I'll take the pen tool because it needs to be solid liquid and I'll close that loop. So now you have a shape that you can save out that's called liquid, but you don't always fill it to the top, right? Like bottles, you can't physically, you need some headspace in the bottle. So then what you can come down and do is um, maybe it's filled this much. So you come through, I'm gonna do this where I just delete all these little lines. There's again, a bunch of different ways you could do this, but now I'm gonna add maybe a little like ripple effect, maybe if I wanted to show that it wasn't completely perfect. That could be interesting. Give it a little more of an organic shape. Um, but yeah, you can kind of just play around with this and see what works and what doesn't work for you. That looks kind of fun. Maybe round it a little bit so it's more flowy. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. So then again, click on the selection, go to file, export selection, and then call this one water. Export that as an OBJ file. Find our dimensions and then drag in. And now you can see we've got our liquid and what we'll need to do is drag that inside and then what you can also do is um, select all of these again. Go back to our handy tool to align to the X and Y axis. And then, oh yeah, I forgot to rename this, um, water, capital W, because I have OCD. All right, and now that we're here, we can go and investigate to make sure that the water sits up from the bottom a little bit. I think this is gonna take a little bit of a finesse. I haven't found like an exact way to make this work, but you want to make sure that it's aligned with the inside, not the um, outside line of the bottle, which is what it kind of defaults to. And then I might just have to play with these a little bit. There we go, I'm using the Y axis to make sure that it's fitting in there appropriately. Okay, I think we have it, but the render preview will tell us for sure. So now we have our bottle, we have a cap, uh, you can see liquid in there. And so now that there's that layer, we can choose our liquid. So there's oil, which is probably a different thicker consistency. There's beer, which you could add to this layer. And I'll drag it there to make sure it's going there. Okay, so now you can see that we still need to do a little bit of finesse. If we go here to the preview, you can see, oh wait, maybe we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good here. Look, now it's showing that we have liquid in our bottle so we can change this water color let's change the water actually what if i just make it water and that's at least for my purposes what i need so we'll change it to water all right so now we're picking up water i might change the lighting so i can get a better look um, so down here in environmental lights or directional lights, I kind of like how the backlit light looks. I think it just adds a little bit of drama. 
So I'm going to add that and then see in our preview how it shows up. Um, so it's black. I don't know what to do about that. Um, but now you can come in and add your label. Drag in an image file and place it. Um, the blue line lit up so I know it's going to the class and not to the water. Now we have the label and it's a little small. So we come back here to our normal arrow. I'm going to turn off this preview because it just goes a little slow. And I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to scale it up until I see it almost touch on the back. Um, so dimension's fun because you can adjust it however you want. Um, I will place it there and then hit my rotate tool and look around. It looks pretty good. I like that you can get it super close to the back. Um, so yeah, here's my bottle. And now we can add some scenes in the background. So I really like this table scene. I think it's kind of moody. Um, so there's a scene and then it works really well with that backlit light, studio backlit. So I'm gonna add this backlit light because there's windows, um, give it a little drama, and let's see how it shows up. So my water is black, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's a shadow thing. Um, so maybe I'll just go back to beer and then try a different color. So if we go beer, yeah, it's showing up dark. Oh no, it's actually good. What if I just make the beer clear? No? Not allowed to? Um, let's see how it looks when I render. So good news so far is that it looks like it's going to be clear water where I thought it was black. I don't know why. That's just the preview and I'm again a visual person so I was confused seeing the blackness in the bottle when I clearly chose water. But in the preview it is looking like water. Um, I am glad to see that it is rendering. Yay! Oh geez, it's going to take like eight minutes. That's the other thing. Just like plan a coffee break whenever you go to render because it does take a while many many minutes later all right guys and that's how it's done now um tell me if you have any questions in the comments like and follow if you want me to make some more custom shapes um or make any more tutorials until next time